All right, in this video, I want to discuss websites that want to charge aspiring software engineers for software engineering coding interviews. Let's discuss whether they're worth it, what's good, what's bad, or whether it's a ripoff, or whether I'm just pissed off that I didn't think of it first. So let's get into it. Before we take a look at a popular coding interview site, let's take a look at some alternatives. You have a lot of free options out there. You have this Geek for Geek site, and you have Edibit, and you have Leak Code, and you have Google, and you have YouTube, and there are so many different resources out there with tons of content. And then if you want more, you can just search YouTube for the name of the algorithm and you'll probably find a lot more. Algo Expert will be our example, but there are many more. One thing that may seem like a negative when you get to Algo Expert is actually a positive. I believe most, if not all, of the video lessons are done with Python. Now, you may get there and be disappointed because Python is not your language of choice. But Python is as close to pseudocode as it gets. It's almost written out in plain language. And if you look at the book Code Complete, at least in version one, which I read, all of the code was pseudocode because the language doesn't matter. And that's the same here. The fact that it's in Python doesn't matter. You can still run your code and they have solutions in other languages and that sort of thing. But it's good to truly understand the algorithm and not just the language features that got you there. The idea is that you understand it and don't depend on language features. Then the language doesn't matter. So it's kind of a good thing that there's only Python available in the video lesson and then you need to go do your solution in your language and who knows what language you'll have to use when you go on to a technical interview at places like Amazon they have a set list of languages and you need to use one of them just to get in the door understanding algorithms is not about memorizing code for algorithms the reason that you're tested on algorithms that seem completely irrelevant to your job is because the employer is trying to determine how strong your problem-solving abilities are and your overall engineering chops, how you approach the problem. I interview candidates in a slightly different way. I take scaled-down versions of real-world problems that my team has solved and turn that into an exercise and pair up with the candidate and go through it and write unit tests for it and see the approach that the candidate takes, whether or not they seem like a professional software engineer or whether they're fresh out of a coding interview class trying to remember code. Now, Algo Expert charges you to watch the video lessons, try out your code, go through the different solutions in the different languages, and even has a service where they pair you up so you can practice your interviews. And they also have a system design portion, which is usually part of your interview process at most big tech companies. They don't just want to see you write a loop. They want to see how you would design a system, how you would design an API. So most of the time as a software engineer, you're not writing code. You're thinking about how to design something or figuring something out. Now, Algo Expert charges you for all this and they have a lot of content and maybe that's helpful. But the key here is to remember that your coding interviews are not memory tests. If you're trying to remember all the code, that is not going to get you very far. You're going to forget it. You're going to likely freeze up. The key is understanding how to solve the problems and understanding your approach. If you happen to mess up with your function signature or which array instance method you use, but you still take a proper approach to solving the problem, then most places will not care. Now, if a place does 
care about little things like that over your actual problem solving abilities, then they're missing out and somebody else will be very happy to hire you because all too often candidates are searching their memory and you can tell they're trying to recall something from a blog or a tutorial or a boot camp. And I like to do coding interviews where I tell the candidate to treat the problem and their approach as if it were real world, except for the fact that you have more than an hour in the real world. But I want to see how they approach it, what they do. Candidates often ask me, well, do you want me to talk about what I'm doing as I do it? And I say, is that what you do at work? Do you talk about your solutions out loud while you're doing them? If you do, I sometimes do, then please do. Do what you would normally do. I want to see your actual approach. You can open a web browser. You can look up documentation. It's nice to have all of the algorithms and data structures and everything all in the same place with the exercises and you can practice. And you want to make sure that you are understanding these algorithms. And in Algo Expert, the instructor does explain the algorithm and walks through and diagrams it, not just codes it. So you are getting something out of that. One good thing that you might want to try, go on and do the free exercises. Watch the videos, do the exercises, look through the solution information. And if you come out of that and you truly understand the algorithm, like you could explain it to one of your elementary school children, the old Richard Feynman technique. If you can do that, it might be worth it to you. Will you be an algorithm expert when you're done? No. If one of these courses was enough to get you the offer, now you have until your start date to fully understand unit testing, CICD, software design, and much more. So be sure to learn those core skills or you'll only have your job long enough to recoup the money you spent on the coding interview training course. Fang companies and other large tech and software companies do not have a lot of room for you to fake it till you make it. They expect you to come in with your professional software engineering skills and get to work. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with more unbelievably awesome content. Thank you for watching.